My name is Mara and I am the founder of The Funky Spork, my blogging social media platform where I show you how to make delicious, easy peasy, nutritious recipes with a flavorful, funky twist for you and your family to enjoy. You know, I have been feeling very nostalgic for some good home cooking the way that my abuela used to do it. So for those that don't know, I am Puerto Rican and Dominican, Dominican Rican. And um, our cultures make really delicious food. If you're from either the islands or you have family that happens to be, you know what I'm saying. So with that being said, there was this dish that I used to love eating and in Spanish it's called plátano relleno. And what that translates to is stuffed plantains. Let me explain. You take a very nice, beautifully ripe plátano maduro, which is known as a ripe plantain, as you see. Don't let all this bruising fool you. It's actually quite delicious. And you stuff it with your meat of choice. And typically what you would do is you'd stuff it with ground beef. Being that I am a plant-based eater, I'm not using ground beef. So, for the next few minutes, I'm going to show you a really delicious way that I like to remix my plátano maduro with a nice, delicious, plant-based, vegan twist. So, here are all the ingredients that we will need for today's recipe. This recipe calls for ripe plantains or plátano maduro. I'm using the Morningstar Farms um, ground mixture. I'm going to be using garlic powder, some tomato paste, delicious ahi peppers from my good friend's garden. I have a yellow onion in here hiding somewhere. And also cauliflower and adobo seasoning. Stay tuned and see how I mix all these things together for some magic. So, one of our first steps will be, will be to take our beautiful produce over here, cauliflower, ahi peppers, and white onion, and to this, into little tiny pieces. You see here, I have the chopped up ahi pepper, white onion, and cauliflower. One note about the ahi pepper is that it does have a little bit of heat, so if you don't like spiciness, um, please just consider removing the seeds. Otherwise, other acceptable peppers are bell peppers, and that's a perfectly good um, substitute. Um, you can also try poblanos or anything else, but you know, whatever your heat or spicy preference is. Okay, let's get to the next step. In this case, I'm using an induction burner, but whatever kind of burner you have at home will do the trick. I promise you that. So I'm setting this for medium high. My first step now is to take my cauliflower that I finally chopped up, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this bowl of water. And I'm gonna let that boil for about 10 minutes. And while that's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up. Induction burners heat up really quickly. Uh-oh. Okay, so for those that don't know, I live in Florida, and Florida is the lightning capital of the world. And also, I don't know why we're called the Sunshine State, because half the year it rains all the time. So the next step is, I'm going to go ahead and add these delicious veggies, which were once again the ahi peppers and the white onion. I'm going to gently let it go in here, in this skillet. let this brown up for about a minute. God, that rain is, that rain is, oh, that lightning. If you live in Florida, don't go outside right now. Ask your mom if you're a kid. At this point, these onions and ahi peppers are looking very nice. They've been sauteing for about, I don't know, three to four minutes. And what I'm looking for is that the onions are starting to turn slightly translucent. I'm not wanting them to caramelize. That is not what I'm looking for them to do. 
Okay, so at this point now, oh, there's lightning. I'm going to go ahead and add the Morningstar Griller Crumble Mixture to this. Since this is technically already cooked, it doesn't need that long. It only needs about two minutes. So I figured this is a good time just to add this in. Oh my gosh, it looks really yummy. It's just like ground beef. <laughs> this is my first time cooking with this. And full disclosure, this is a virgin recipe. Everybody, you have no idea how upset I am, but what I did along with the tomato paste, I added uh, two, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of adobo, and I also added a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic, but let's be honest and let's be real. You measure garlic with your heart until your ancestors tell you to stop. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take these plantains and I'm gonna show you first how to go ahead and open them. I like to take my knife, cut this top portion here, peel. And what I like about the maduros, which are the very ripe plantains, is that they're much, much, much easier to peel than your traditional green plantains. And I am not upset about that. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go ahead and chop this into pieces that are roughly about an inch in size. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat that for all four of these babies. Well, the three of these. The cauliflower has been boiling for quite some time. I'd say about 15 minutes. And a good indicator for me to know that's done is if I put my fork through the cauliflower and it passes through without any kind of tension, it is done and it is tender. So what I currently have here is my chopped up plantain. And I'm going to go ahead and gently, ever so gently, add all of my cauliflower pieces into this mixture. And you'll see why in just a second. So stay tuned. Yay! Okay, so I've got the beautiful cauliflower and the plantains here. What am I gonna do now? Well, I will show you. I'm gonna go ahead and mash these babies up. I'm basically looking to mash these up until they have the, the texture of mashed potatoes. Yeah, I want the plantain to also get nice and mushy. So I'm gonna mush this for a couple minutes until I get that consistency. Um, and some of you are probably wondering, well, I like my mashed potatoes thick. Or I like my mashed potatoes really thin. Uh, the texture I'm looking for is a smooth texture. One that's not too lumpy, but I'm also not looking for it to get watery either. So if you can kind of imagine where that sweet spot may lie, that's what I'm envisioning. So let me just go ahead and mash and mix away and I'll catch you in a jiffy. Okay, Funkies, I'm back. So now I have an assembly line and you're probably seeing how it's all gonna piece together. Maybe, I'm hoping, but you'll see. So what I have here is the beautiful concoction of the mashed plantain and cauliflower is like this nice, lovely, light orange, kind of a cream color. I have the ground um, texture, the um, tomato paste, onions, peppers, garlic powder, and lots of love, and a baking tray. So, first thing first, I just wanna give a little bit of seasoning. I just wanna give a little bit of seasoning to the cauliflower plantain mixture. So I'm just gonna sprinkle about really like a teaspoon of the adobo mixture into the seasoning and I'm gonna mix it up. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. There's already plenty of flavor in the meat mixture, so I'm not even that worried about that. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and split this up into four parts. So this particular recipe serves four individuals or one very hungry person, just kind of depending <laughs> on where your appetite is. So I went ahead and split everything 
And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I've got some coconut oil over here. You can use whatever kind of oil. And I am going to just use a little tiny bit and I'm gonna rub my hands with this. You might think, oh, that's so gross. But you'll see why I'm doing that in a second. So now, what I'm doing is I'm taking one quarter of this mixture. Let's call it the plantain cauliflower mixture. And I'm gonna plop it down here. And I'm gonna take a quarter of this meat mixture over here. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and form this into a ball. A nice little patty. Yeah. So there's still some more down here. I'm using my fingers, I already washed my hands. And I'm gonna go ahead and just top this off. Oh, look how sexy that looks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I wanna top this off until it forms almost like, if you're per Puerto Rican, you know probably what mofongo is. Mofongo is fried mashed green plantain. It's just a little bit of a remix. But what we're doing is we're essentially stuffing each of these. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process until I have four of these, okay? Okay, so I just spent the past few minutes making these beautiful little plantain mounds that are stuffed with deliciousness. So I decided to make five. Um, so these can either make four very large mounds or five, or you can make a bunch of mini ones, but uh, my partner and I were hungry. So the next step is I'm gonna go ahead and put these kids in the oven. Okay, so we are here in my kitchen and these bad kids are done after being cooked at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. And then I let them broil on high for three minutes just to give it a little bit crispy, crispy, crispy. I'm gonna show you how they look. Ah, they look like aliens, but they look so good and so delicious. I cannot wait to try these. This, my friends, is the moment of truth. Here is the stuffed relleno that has the sweet plantain, the platano maduro, and the cauliflower mixture. I made a little salad on the side just to keep things a little healthy. Now some of you may be wondering, why did you even bother adding cauliflower? Well the thing is though, I needed extra mass in order to make sure that there was enough filling for the protein mixture. But I was also looking for a smart way to cut down on the carbs. And there's nothing wrong with eating carbohydrates, but for some of you or some of us that may be watching our blood sugar and our carb intake, cauliflower is a very versatile vegetable. It tastes good, it absorbs flavors, and it is very low in carbohydrates. So I figure, why not? And once again, this is a virgin recipe. I've never made this in ever in my entire life, but it looks so good. So check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and take a nice picture of this but look at that, all the meat mixtures in there. It turned out nice and tender inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and try a bite. Ready? It's really hot. <laughs> so if you're gonna make this, I'm gonna just give you a couple troubleshoot advice. I'd highly recommend, first of all, that you make sure that you either grease your baking sheet on the bottom or you bake this on parchment paper to really make sure that each of these little stuffed creations, these little sweet mofongos, do not get stuck. So just keep that in mind. All right, bon appetit. Seriously, this is really delicious. And I'm not just saying that because I made it, but trust me, the you know the savoriness and that richness of the meat mixture with the the peppers, the ahi peppers, the tomato paste, the garlic, the adobo, all that really balances beautifully with the sweetness of the ripened plantain, the platano maduro, and the cauliflower just helps to bind everything in such a nice, beautiful way. So this recipe is definitely something that I recommend that anyone just gives a try. I would say all together with the preparation took about 40 minutes. With being in the oven took about, you know, 33 minutes. But it's definitely worth the wait. This is a great dish to while your friends, while yourself, while your coworkers. So if you make this, 
let me know what you think. Comment below. And please, if you like what you see with my content, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button below. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Get this and other recipes at www.thefunkyspork.com. And until next time, my beautiful funky friends, stay yummy and stay funky. Bye-bye. <laughs>